Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing our series in motors and control systems. In the last video, we covered relay control logic. In this video, we will be looking at the semiconductor diodes. We will cover the diode operation along with the zener, rectifier diode, and inverter. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Electronic systems and controls have gained wide acceptance in the automation industry. It has also become essential to be familiar with power electronic devices. One of the simplest of semiconductor devices is the PN junction diode. The diode is formed by a doping process, which creates P-type and N-type semiconductor materials on the same component. An N-type semiconductor material has electrons, represented as negative charges, as the current carriers, while the P-type has holes, represented as positive charges, as the current carriers. Diode leads are identified as the anode lead, connected to the P-type material, and the cathode lead, connected to the N-type material. The purpose of the diode is to allow current in one direction and block current in the opposite direction. The example shows two basic operating modes of a diode, forward bias and reverse bias. A forward bias voltage forces the positive and negative current carriers to the junction and collapses the depletion region to allow current flow. A reverse bias voltage widens the depletion area so the diode does not conduct. Rectification is the conversion of alternating current to direct current. Rectifier diodes are used in power supplies to convert AC to DC and also in currents where a large current must pass through the diode. The schematic shows a single phase half wave rectifier. The AC input is applied to the primary of the transformer and the secondary voltage supplies the rectifier and load resistor. The anode side of the diode is positive during the positive half cycle of the AC input wave. The diode is forward biased, which acts as a closed switch during this time and conducts current to the load. The anode side of the diode is negative during the negative half cycle of the AC input wave. The diode is reverse biased, which acts like an open switch and does not allow current to flow to the load. The half wave rectifier makes use of only half of the AC input wave. A less pulsating and greater average DC current can be produced by rectifying both half cycles of the AC input wave. This can be accomplished with a full wave rectifier. The schematic displays a single phase full wave bridge rectifier. During the positive half cycle, the anodes of D1 and D2 are positive, forward biased, and the anodes of D3 and D4 are negative, reverse biased. Current flows from the negative side of the line through D1 to the load and then through D2 and back to the other side of the line. During the second half cycle, the polarity of the AC line voltage reverses. This causes diodes D3 and D4 to become positive. Current flows now from the negative side of the line through D3 to the load and then through D4 and back to the other side of the line. For heavier load demands, such as those required for industrial applications, the DC output is supplied from a three-phase source. This in turn can obtain a low ripple DC output with very little filtering. The six diodes are connected in a bridge configuration. The cathodes of the upper diode bank connect to the positive DC output bus. The anodes of the lower diode bank connect to the negative DC bus. Each diode conducts while the remaining two are blocking. Each DC output pulse is 60 degrees in duration. The output voltage does not drop below a certain voltage. Zener diodes are a type of diode that permit current to flow in the forward direction and also in the reverse direction if the voltage is larger than the breakdown voltage. 
A reverse bias current would destroy any standard diode, but the Zener diode is designed to withstand it. They are used to provide a fixed reference voltage from a supply voltage that varies and are commonly found in motor control feedback systems. The operation of a Zener diode can be observed. Input voltage must be higher than the specified Zener voltage. The Zener diode is connected in series with the resistor to allow sufficient reverse bias current for the Zener to operate. Voltage drop across the diode will be equal to the Zener diode's voltage rating. The voltage drop across the series resistor is equal to the difference between the Zener voltage and the input voltage. The Zener diode maintains a constant voltage as the input voltage changes within a specified range. The change in input voltage appears across the series resistor. Inverters are electronic devices that change direct current to alternating current. This device performs the opposite function of a rectifier. They are used for a variety of electronic applications that are adjustable speed motor drives, uninterruptible power supplies, and solar power systems. This concludes the video over semiconductor diodes. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at transistors. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.